Hi there guys, um, was out fishing today, oh, my bass is still alive, and I uh, decided to start making some fish oil, so we spent the day down by the river, making carp and stuff, and that's what I've got before, this smells real right, I like yummy stuff, so we're going to add some more of that, and I'm pretty much just going to show you how to cut them up and stuff, um, we're not going to, don't use bass because they don't got enough oil. He's going to eat up. that. So we'll uh, set up the camera and we'll get cutting on them. There. Are they going? Yep. Okay, guys, we got this sucker here. And for making fish oil, pretty much you got to do three things. Four things. Cut off the head, cut off your back tail, and take all the guts out. So just like you're starting to flay right behind the back fin, but instead of stopping at the spine, go all the way through. Ugh. It just sounds nice. So, I went all the way through there. As you can see, I take the head over here, throw them in this good bucket, uh, right here at the tail. some of those gloves. You just cut off your tail, same as the head, all the way through. If I don't cut myself. Oh, he's got eggs. Sometimes you gotta break the bones with just your hands. This is a bigger fish, so they're a little harder to slice through. There we go. Now you're just gonna slice up the stomach, or you can reach right in there, I guess, but. A little bit easier to get more out. So you're gonna reach in there. You don't gotta get it all, but majority. So rip it all. Ooh. Rip it all out. I suggest if you're a wimp, you wear gloves, but we ain't wimps here in Wisconsin. Now what you're going to want to do is just cut straight down and if they're bigger fish you're going to want to cut like that but pretty much just one inch chunks so it decomposes faster or whatever. So this is usually what I throw in there but with the bigger fish you just cut these off. So you get smaller chunks like that. And into the bucket they go. And then you let that sit in the sun for about two weeks. And then you're going to want some cheesecloth to strain it through so you got nice fish oil. 